everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my second trimester video, which I can't quite believe that I have come to the end of my second trimester and I'm now in my third trimester. Like, that has just blown my mind this week that we are literally in the last third of this pregnancy. It seems like yesterday that I was talking about my first trimester and now I'm like in my third trimester and it's just like, where does the time go? And it's so funny because when I filmed my first trimester video, I thought, oh, like I was thinking like, oh, I wonder what I'll talk about in my second trimester. And it seemed like so long away. Like it just seemed like, like the first few weeks to me seemed really short, but that bit between the first trimester and the end of the second just seemed like such a long time. And now we're here and I'm just like, where the hell has the time gone? So today I'm gonna to be giving you a little bit of a roundup of what my second trimester has been like in terms of symptoms and a few other bits. I feel, it's so funny because I think back to my first trimester video and I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. I was really, I wouldn't say I wasn't in a good place, but I really wasn't feeling great at the time of filming that video because I was literally in the midst of the most horrendous sickness <laughs> that I've ever like experienced in my life. Although I was coming out of it, it was still, like looking back now, it was still driving my life quite a lot. So sitting here today, I feel so much better than I did in that first video, um, which I'm so grateful for because had it carried on to the extent of what I was feeling in that video, oh God, it would have just been absolutely horrendous. So um, I have written a few notes on my phone because there was a few things which I wanted to mention that were either have either changed since my first trimester or are slightly different or whatever. So I just wanted to talk about them. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was the sickness. So as I mentioned there, I feel so much better now than I did in my first trimester. Like that first trimester is hard. Like, oh my God, it's so, like for me anyway, it was so tough. And I would say that the sickness for me, it's not completely gone, but it's it's only there now and again. So I've still had a few weeks where I have been sick after my dinner or I've been sick in the morning or I felt nauseous, but it's not like, it's not taken over my life the way that it did in that first trimester. But I did have sickness that went, you know, they say, I've heard loads of people say that once you get into the second trimester, like the sickness goes and you feel amazing, that didn't happen for me. So I had quite a few weeks of still feeling not great. And I think it probably wasn't until I was well into like 22, 23, 24 weeks that I really started feeling a little bit better. But now I, okay, so now today I'm 28 weeks. So now I'm 28 weeks and I do still get a little bit sickness. Like last week I was sick twice, um, but it's nowhere near as bad as what it was. So if any of you are in your first trimester, like hang in there, cause it does, I promise you it does get better. Um, I do still have bouts of nausea. So if I haven't eaten and things like that, but it's much more, I know now that I'm not always, it's not always gonna end up in me being sick. So I would just say that the biggest thing for this trimester has been finally like really starting to see an improvement on that sickness. Even though it's not completely, completely gone, it is a hundred times better than it was. And I can actually function and live a normal life now. And I can eat in terms of food aversions, because I think that was another thing which I mentioned in my last video. I can eat pretty much anything I want now. I still have to be in the mood for it, but whereas before I was really restricted on like, I only wanted to eat white bread or like carby things. Now I can pretty much I think there's only a few things where I think, ooh, don't want to eat that. And there's definitely things which I want to have more of. So I think I mentioned before, one of the things that really helped my sickness was Diet Coke. I'm not on the Diet Coke as much as I was before, but it's still playing quite a big part of my life. So I've just been out now and I've had a Diet Coke on the way home. So it's still, 
I, I, I think it must be a craving. I don't know if it's a craving or not. I feel like I've not really had cravings, but if I was gonna say that I, that I had one, it must have to be the Diet Coke because that has, like that want to have Diet Coke has carried on into this trimester and it definitely does make me feel better if I'm feeling sick or I'm feeling really really thirsty the Diet Coke does help I mean I wouldn't recommend like if you're feeling really thirsty drink water that's what you need to do and I have been trying to drink more water but at the same time the Diet Coke just does it for me at the minute I don't know I'm hoping that goes away after I've had this baby because I don't want to spend the rest of my life needing to drink Diet Coke um but yeah so the Diet Coke has still been a big part of sort of my routine I guess you could say or like now I can go without it but I know that I really want it or if I'm having like an off day with my tummy feeling sicky I know that a diet coke will work just kind of take the edge off the other thing which I noticed during the second trimester which started to happen I would guess from the middle onwards from the second trimester was a little bit of heartburn now that over the last couple of weeks has progressively got I'm not going to say it's really bad because it's not horrendous but I have noticed that in the last few weeks I've been getting more and more heartburn and it's not something I'd really experienced that much of before um it's actually quite a weird feeling and it's not actually that very nice but it's not as bad as sickness so for me the heartburn is like I am happy to have the heartburn as long as I'm not throwing up so I have definitely yeah definitely been getting an increase in heartburn and I'm expecting that because of how it's gradually increased over the last couple of weeks I am expecting it to get a little bit worse now as we go into the third trimester um, Oh, I don't know if I'd said at this point how many weeks I am. I think I did mention it briefly. Um, in case I haven't mentioned it, I'm now 28 weeks as I film this video. Um, you probably won't see it until a couple of weeks or a week or so after. Um, so yeah, that's how far along I am. So I'm just looking at the notes on my phone. So another thing which I've noticed, and <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor Smurf probably has noticed as well, um, I have had the most well not the most I have definitely had some mood swings during the later half of this trimester I don't know whether that's like something which happens during the second trimester I don't know whether there's another change in your hormones or something that goes on but I would say I've definitely had a few more mood swings than I did in the first trimester and I think I've been a little bit more emotional and it's been a lot easier to upset me <laughs> than um it was before so I, I don't know I don't know about that but I do that's something which I have noticed probably one of the most annoying symptoms which I have had during the last trimester and which I am assuming will only get worse from now on um, is I noticed that as as my bump was getting bigger I just like needed felt like I needed a wee all the time and I think this is completely normal and I think loads of people go through it um, I now have to wee a couple of times throughout the night like I can't just like wait I, I just can't um, the most annoying thing for me though is because I'm a, I'm a runner so before I was pregnant I was running five times a week I'm still running pretty much five times a week but I'm doing much much shorter runs and I'm incorporating walking into it so I'm not just out on a solid run um, I'm kind of what I feel I can manage on the day I'm doing so I don't want to push myself or push my body too much but I you know the exercise feels good for me at the minute so I've carried on with that but the thing with the weeing is is I can be walking and feel like I don't need a wee and then as soon as I start running the baby must just be like sat or bouncing right on top of my bladder so as soon as I start that running motion I instantly feel like I have to go for a wee which has meant that I've had to cut my like sections of running on my when I'm on a run much shorter because it just feels like oh god I'm gonna wet myself and then I get home try to go for a wee and there's no wee there <laughs> so that's probably been the most annoying symptom so far and I think I'm at a stage now where I'm probably gonna have to really cut back the running a little bit more and maybe go on to swimming or something like that because I think this feeling with the weeing is probably only going to get worse so I'm at that point at the minute where I'm like oh, I don't want to give up the running because it makes me feel really good and it puts me in a better mood and I just feel better about myself once I've been for a run so I don't want to 
stop and at the minute I actually still feel like I'm able to run without really too much of a problem it's just this feeling of needing a wee <laughs> like straight away um so I would say that's really been the last maybe the last month it's probably got worse as the bumps got bigger but it's definitely been there since sort of quite early on in the second trimester and it's just got to a point now where I think oh <laughs> you know it might be time to knock the running on the head soon which makes me sad because it's been a part of my life for so long but it just gives me something to look forward to once the baby's here isn't it and I'm ready to go back to exercise then I can go back to my running. Oh another symptom and I don't know if this is really a symptom or if it's just part of pregnancy but I've noticed that all all my life I've always like slept on my side sometimes I'll sleep on my back I've always slept on my side but during the second trimester all I've wanted to do is sleep on my back now is that a thing is it like you get to a certain size in your pregnancy and all of a sudden all you want to do is sleep on your back because it's the most comfy place and I know that they say like not to sleep on your back so I actively try not to sleep on my back but I catch myself asleep on my back and then have to put myself back on my side. Um, it just seems to be the most comfortable position for me and I don't know why that is so if any of you know why that might be or if it's like a common thing in pregnancy if any of you like went through the same thing leave me a comment down below because I'd be really interested to know because to me I can't really work out why I would prefer to be on my back to on my side because you'd think like if you're on your side like all the weight's sort of on the bed rather than like if you're, when you're lying on your back obviously your bump's like pushing into you so in my mind it makes no sense um so who knows why that is but if you guys know please leave me a comment because I would love to know the answer so during this trimester I obviously had my 20 week scan which was really lovely it seems like a long time ago now because obviously I'm 28 weeks and I had that at 21 weeks so it seems like we haven't actually seen the baby in so long but um, the scan went really well and it was so lovely because obviously you can find out the sex at the scan we have decided not to find out the sex of the baby because I think you don't get many surprises in life and I'm just really excited to like have that moment when you're like what is it like what is it yeah so we both really wanted that moment where like we don't know what it is or whatever so um, we didn't find out the sex at the scan so we've still got that to look forward to but everything else was really really good so it was quite fun actually because when we were in the scan she obviously had to say like okay look away now so we had to and uh it's quite funny because I was like trying to peek but I couldn't see anything um but yeah so that's really exciting so that was a really nice thing that we did during the second trimester and I'm also wondering now whether I should have like a 3D or 4D scan I'm not sure I think we probably will but I'm really nervous of like accidentally seeing its bits or whatever one of us accidentally seeing it um but I don't know watch this space maybe in my third trimester video um I'll be on here being like yeah we've had the 3D 4D scan whichever whichever it is I don't know um I don't know enough about it to be honest so the last thing I want to mention really is we started our hypnobirthing course during this trimester because as I, d I mean I'm sure like every mum in the world will and like every expecting mum will know that like as the bump grows all of a sudden you're thinking fuck like this has got to come out and I was I mean I am still really really nervous about the birth so we decided to do the hypnobirthing course through the positive birth company so we're halfway through that so that's great because it's a selection of videos and you can watch them sort of at your own leisure which has been really good because you just have a selection of videos and you watch them at your own pace so you're not kind of restricted on when you have to watch them and it's not a class that you have to attend or anything like that so that's been really good for us so we've been slowly making our way through those videos and for any of you that haven't done hypnobirthing before or don't know much about it I would recommend it because it's basically I mean we are only halfway through it at the minute but it's basically the science and like everything behind what giving birth is and then giving you tips on how you can 
manage the labour and what to expect and how to keep yourself calm and all that sort of thing. So for us, it's been really helpful so far and I've actually really, really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to getting to the end of it. Um, but I'm kind of pacing myself a little bit because I wanna make sure the information's fresh in my mind. So I don't wanna just smash out all these videos in a week and then in another 10 weeks time be thinking, oh, I need to re-go over those videos. So we're kind of pacing ourselves a little bit with it and we're watching like a video a night or every other day watching a video. But that's something that we found really helpful, really, really interesting. The lady that does the um, hypnobirthing course is so lovely. And like, her videos are so nice and clear and she explains everything amazingly. And it's actually like when you, when you start hearing about the way that like, w why what's happening is happening, and like what the body's actually doing it makes complete sense so it kind of is a good way of putting your mind at rest so I'm really glad we've done that because I have been enjoying it and I'm now trying to wrap my brain to make sure there's nothing else which I want to mention because in some ways this trimester has been so much easier like I felt particularly near the end of it I felt a lot better but then it's starting to obviously get a little bit harder because bumps bigger and that means clothes don't fit and work I have an active outdoorsy job so work's a little bit trickier for me and and then it's like coming to the end and you're kind of sad aren't you because you don't it's a really strange feeling actually because you like you don't want it to end but you but you're looking forward to the end because obviously you want to meet your baby um but at the same time you're like oh like you're nervous and excited and you're enjoying the bump and you're still quite comfortable like bumps not too uncomfortable at the minute and I don't know I feel like it's been a wave of different emotions but I've definitely definitely enjoyed this trimester a lot more than the first one and oh god <laughs> not that long. I haven't got that long left guys um, so I guess what I could do is I could actually show you my bump because last time obviously I didn't really have a bump to show you. I think I just showed you the ultrasounds. Um, so I'll show you what I look like at the minute. So this is 28 weeks. Isn't that mad? Look at it. It's like a proper round little baby bump. There's no hiding it now, is there? <laughs> it's just so funny, like the hardest thing for me has been finding like clothes to wear, like pregnancy dressing is not easy. And like this whole like bodycon dress with a shirt tied round is pretty much all that I've been wearing um, because it's the comfiest thing. But yeah, that's it. Big old baby. Isn't like, the female, female body just the most insane thing. Like I went to um, my midwife's appointment, sorry, this is a bit off topic, but it's still baby related. I went to my midwife's appointment and it was the first time that they'd like measured my bump. And she actually said that like, yeah, your uterus is up here now. And I was thinking, it's gone from like down there to up here. That's just, mind-blowing, breathtaking, amazing, like I can't believe that I'm capable of doing this. Do you know what I mean? Like I mean I'm sure like other mums out there will probably feel the exact same like how? How has my body done this? This is the most amazing thing ever. So I think that's pretty much everything which I wanted to mention in my second trimester video. I feel like I've not got as much to say this time because it's been so much better. Um, but I hope it's been helpful and I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'm really looking forward to filming my third trimester video. And the big question is, is will I film it before or after the baby's here? I'm hoping that I will get to film it before baby arrives so I might film it a few weeks early um it's not that long away <laughs> um but if I don't I will make sure I'll put one up it might just be 
like when I've got the chance to. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful and if you want to see the third trimester video don't forget to subscribe and uh, thank you for watching, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!